celebration this time? Yeah, I think I'll continue to do that. Maybe my whole career, who knows? Um, no, as Muncie's on second, I just try to get him in uh, any way possible, jam shot, uh, barrel, anything. And saw a pitch that I thought I could drive and put, try to put a good swing on it right there. On the Wendell double in the seventh, is your shoulder on your mind? Yeah, it was one of those the first time where I challenged it and close to the wall and then I dropped it and then my shoulder hit the wall and then I was like, okay, I'm fine, you know, and then uh, Mookie, CT, you're like, all right, listen, now you know, and um, you're going to come up with the catch, you know, later in the game. And luckily I had an opportunity to show I'm all right and uh, I am all right and I feel good. Next question is from JP Hornstra. Go ahead. Go ahead, JP. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Cody, we, we heard so much about their pitching coming into this. How important was it to strike early and particularly the way you guys did? I mean, yeah, that's always important in any series, especially the World Series. We did a great job of sticking to our plan. Um, it was just it was a great game overall. And, um, you know, we got to come in tomorrow and, and, and do the same thing over again and uh, continue to have fun and, and grind at bees and play as a team. That was your third home run in four at bats against Glass. Now, what do you like about that? I don't know. I really don't. He's got really good stuff, and um, today was just a moment for me where I just tried to get the run in and uh, stayed simple with it. Next question is from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Cody. It's as somebody who's also a five-tool player. Is there anything that you appreciate about Mookie's ability to just seemingly have an imprint on almost every game? Yeah, it's really unbelievable. It's so fun to watch, and we're so lucky to have him on our team. Um, I just say, like, he's a superstar guy, superstar talent, but he does all the little things right, and it's you can really learn from that when a guy's that good and he just wants to win and, uh, like I said, just continues to do the small things that go unnoticed by a lot of people, maybe not, but it, it's really special. Next question is from Kyle Glazer. Go ahead. Cody, from afar, it looks like you guys are having a lot of fun in the dugout. Is this team playing looser than uh, previous World Series appearances? Uh, I would say so. I don't know if looser is the right word, but, uh, I mean, we're having fun. Uh, we know how challenging it is. It's not easy. It's not an easy sport. So to put extra pressure on yourself, that's just not the way to do it. Next question from Jason Stark. Go ahead. Cody, when your team has been to two World Series and hasn't won, does it change the approach in any way when you get to the third? Does it increase the sense of urgency? Does it increase focus? Do you understand the the opportunity maybe in some different way? Uh, I, I mean, I think we're all just trusting in each other and understanding how good we are. And uh, like I just said, not putting pressure on ourselves, but going out and having fun and playing our game. And when we do that, we're, we're a really good team. Next question from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Cody, who came up with the toe tap idea? Who came up with it? Uh, I, I said it today before the game. I was like, if I ever hit one, I said, I'm not touching anybody's arm. I'm going straight foot. And uh, it was it was pretty funny. Thanks. Next question is from Stephanie Abstein. Go ahead. Cody, what's the most impressive thing you saw Mookie Betts do today? Uh, stolen base a third. That was such a huge, uh, if I remember correctly, it was a one or two run game at the time. And Stole third, got in scoring position for Will, maybe. Um, but that stolen base was huge. Just like I said, doing the little things and really helping us win. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Cody, did you know before the game that you could fully let the swing loose? Um, you know, what was it kind of like practicing and batting practice and, and that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, it's more it's more just uh, trusting that it's fine. And uh, took I took uh, swings in the cage and felt good. I was probably 80 90%. And then... Went out batting practice, got loose, and let it – because I wasn't going to go in the game unprepared, and I just swung like I would in the game for a few swings, and I didn't feel anything. So um, I knew I was ready to roll. Next question is from Jack Harris. Go ahead. Cody, are there any uh, new ways for Mookie to contribute that he hasn't done already this year and in these playoffs? Not that I can think of. He's done about everything. Nothing at the top of my head. Have you ever played with such a, a complete kind of all-around player like that? No, man. He's, he's so dedicated to doing it. You know, it's uh, nothing's forced. He just – he wants to do it. He wants to win. And you can really learn from that. Next question is from Tyler Kepner. Go ahead. 
Yeah, Cody, um, how much easier does it make it to be, you know, more confident and to not put pressure on yourself when you have a guy like Mookie and when you have emerged as a star since 18? Oh, I mean, it helps, man. And like, I mean, we've, we've had, you know, the same group for a while. We're all comfortable with each other. We've been living together for however long. And um, it's been such a unique year. We're having fun with it and uh, it's showing, but we got to go out and continue to compete. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Brooks. Hey, Cody, during the game, uh, LeBron James tagged you in a tweet after your home run. Have you guys had conversations in the clubhouse about what it would mean just to bring a title back to Los Angeles the same month as the Lakers just did? Yeah, it would obviously be unbelievable. Um, I think the city of Los Angeles stage got one with the Lakers, and to be a part of that would be extremely spe extremely special. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's there's a lot of Dodger fans out in Los Angeles and all around the world, so we want to bring it home to them. Thanks, Cody.